five kilo national champion. Yes, Justin sir. Rogers in yes, the house, sir. Along with his handler, the goat, hey, uh, world Lane. champ. Uh, Far from goat. Make opening statement on your performance today. Go ahead. Yeah, no, today was was special, man. You know, it's something that uh, no one can really take from you, right? Especially in, in a, a an era of powerlifting that's kind of like morphing into dots and stuff like that. But, you know, 20 years from now, they'll know like national champion versus anything else. So for me, it was just special, especially having him come through last <laughs> yeah, minute, man. So I've, I've looked up to him for a while and uh, my handler actually fell through today. So last minute, he kind of hopped in the seat and, you know, yeah. did what we had to do. So... Appreciate that. Yeah, and Coach, you want to uh, brag on your lifter a little bit? All right, well, this is easy. It's <laughs> you have somebody strong that can execute, it makes your world so much easier as far as, far as handling anybody. Um, I spoke about it actually to, uh, to the GOAT handling himself, uh, Matt Gary. If, if you've ever done anything in terms of attempts, um, planning out attempts for, for a lifter, your biggest thing is you have to execute. You have to make attempts. So with him, it's like, all right, we, we know – we know that we're not necessarily near the ceiling as far as the strength goes, but we know that as far as attempts go, as long as we hit those attempts, it's going to put us in the best position to win. I mean, and honestly, you hit more attempts, it makes you that close to being unbeatable. So that was the goal coming in. So, I mean, honestly, you just really have to – if you know, obviously, if you know a lifter, you know how well they lift, and you really just – part of it's eyeball, part of it's gut, but a lot of it's just you want to make sure that you execute. So that was a goal. So when, once we figured out the game plan, I mean, he came to me. He already had the game plan. I kind of adjusted with what I was thinking, and boom, made it happen. Absolutely. All right. Right here. Uh, the first thing I want to say is thank you for your service. Oh, And I also want to say congratulations on becoming a national champion. Like you yes, said, sir. Uh, nobody can ever take that away from you. There's one day out of the year when you can become a champion. Knowing that you were kind of, the, I mean, the strongest lifter in the field, did that change your plan at all? Um, in terms of what you were projecting, or did you just come in with a plan and this is what we're going to do and we're just going to execute that plan? Great question. So just some backstory. Um, I started prepping for this around 12 weeks ago. Um, I'm in business school. I graduated with my MBA in, in May, and then I'm going into consulting for a big three firm. So I don't have a lot of time. So uh, I t pretty much took off four to five months, and uh, I was like, hey, man, I, I don't know when I'll be able to really compete again at this level. So I got with Sanjeev, my coach. And uh, in December, we said, hey, we're going we're gonna to do nationals. Whatever it takes, we're going to do nationals. So this entire prep, uh, I didn't really focus on hitting, like, certain numbers. I focused on just, like, the variables, like sleeping, getting a certain amount of protein per day, like technique, staying consistent, right? Because I knew I didn't have a lot, a lot of time. So when we came in here today, um, you know, the goal for me was really internal. There, there wasn't really a lot of external factors. I would have loved to be able to hit the Carpino. I think like another four to five months, I will be able to do that very easily. But given the circumstances, like, hey, I've only been doing this for like 12 weeks consistently. Like, I just want to hit what I knew I could hit. And then that last pull, if I had room for it, load it. If not, whatever. But uh, overall, man, I mean, you can only compete against who's there, right? And I, I really wanted some of the other lifters to be here as well, just to kind of raise the energy, raise the uh, competition. But at the end of the day, man, I mean, you, you play who's there, you play what's on the field. So, uh, mm -hmm. get, you know, good or bad, it was a great experience for me, and I enjoyed it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.